This is a Patreon request for PK's DUI. I was asked to comment on it and tell the story, so here I am. So PK Kelmsley on November 23rd was coming back from a holiday dinner party and he had wine with dinner. And when he was driving back on the 101, it is reported that he was driving slightly erratically, which caused the state troopers to follow him and then pull him over when he exited the freeway, the 101 onto Laurel Canyon. They then, of course, would do the usual tests, which are hu super humiliating on the side of the road with like bright lights in your face and all this stuff. And I'm sure he underwent that. And then at the end of all of that, they usually require you to blow. So he did blow and he got a 0 0.081, which is slightly over. So the state of California has zero tolerance for any intoxication. If you blow over a 0.08 and are arrested, that's it. That's how they see it, even if it's slightly over. Um, something to take note um, out of this really uh, unfortunate situation for PK is that um, a driver's impairment is based on the following things. So if you guys are at like holiday parties, remember this, okay? <laughs> Um, if you're a man or a woman, it, it is different how much you can drink. Your weight affects how much you can drink. Um, if you ate dinner or not, these are like legal points I'm giving you. Um, if you have a medical problem uh, or taking medication combined with alcohol that could cause issue, that can also make your driver impairment go up with very little alcohol. Um, and the time that you drank. If you like have a tiny sip of wine and hit the road, that's bad. that's bad. So what are you looking at? Well, if you don't have any prior offenses in the state of California, it's your first offense. You get up to six months in jail, possibly. You get um, a penalty or a fine of $390 to $1,000. And you get a six month license suspension. Sometimes they'll also give you a device that you can put in your car and you're allowed to do a breathalyzer into your vehicle so that you can still go to like school and work, but you have to prove that you haven't been drinking. So you have to breathe into this device in your car and then you can drive. Um, so like it can be like a, not a blanket suspension. It can be like a partial suspension. Um, it goes, it gets worse with each DUI uh, that you get. And, you know, uh, judges get more and more upset. And there's good reasons. DUIs are strict for a reason. And the point of them is to make it so that you are deterred in drinking and driving at all. <laughs> okay. So really, truly, uh, this holiday season, uh, let's take a lesson from this and let's not do it. Let's just call an Uber. It's not that much money. It's like 20 bucks. You get points or a lift. And let's just take cabs everywhere we go, okay? And remember that, you know, the reason DUIs are strict and they're so, um, you know, they, they allow you such little, you know, alcohol is because, frankly, um, you never know what a driver's impairment is going to be based on, like, for one person, it could be like a whole bottle of wine and they're drunk. Another person, it's like a half glass. So the law really wants people to just not do it. And... Um, a lot of innocent people are killed by DUIs and a lot of people who do the DUI are killed. I know killed. you guys are very disappointed at this point in the video that I haven't dragged PK over karma or <laughs> whatever for being calling me a see you next Tuesday and blaming me for stuff that I wasn't and you know I, I, I didn't have any blame in. But I want to say that I don't want to convolute such an important opportunity with that bullshit. I want to just make sure that you guys don't drink and drive, okay, over the holiday. Thinking just like PK did, I just had a glass of wine with dinner and there is, shouldn't be a problem, you know, there can be, there can be a problem. And um, so I'm sure PK's lawyer, based on the fact that it was just slightly over the limit, will be able to get maybe this even dismissed or something, um, you know, really mitigated down to almost nothing, but I just uh, thought that it was important 
to uh, remind you guys, don't drink and drive. Oh, by the way, Dorit made a comment in People Magazine. She said, he fully understands the danger of drinking and driving, referring to PK. And I think it's a real lesson to everybody that even if you have a glass of wine, a lot of us think that you can still drive. You really can and should take a driver. Take a driver? Like, what land is she living in? You mean, take a cab, Dorit, Jesus. He assured me that he will never do it again, Dorit said to People. Um, she said it on the People Choice Awards red carpet. By the way, she was missing half her dress. Did you see that dress? Oh, my goodness. Um, anyway, uh, that was that. So yay that, uh, that he's never going to do it again. Good for him. Okay, little shade in that. Hey, maybe what we should do is just all stay home and get on YouTube and we could have a party on my channel for Christmas. What do you think of that idea and Hanukkah? But you know, Hanukkah is ending soon. So maybe we could just do Christmas. But what do you think? I don't know. That could be fun. And then we don't have to pay for cabs or even drive at all. We could just hang out and drink on here. Okay. So let's think. Let me know if you like that idea. If you do, I'll I'll schedule a Christmas party with you guys. We'll do it, okay? And I'll, we can um, hang out or we could um, talk gossip for that week or whatever. I'm in. So let me know if you want me to do it and I will. I'll schedule a live for uh, maybe Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I don't know, day after Christmas. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, guys.